types of decisions. So the Supreme Court uh, can uh, come up with three different types of decisions or opinions. There's a majority opinion, which is uh, the winning one, where it's five to four, uh, six to three, nine to zero, and anything in between. Concurrent opinion is where you agree with the majority, but for different reasons. And then there's a dissenting opinion, the losing side's opinion. And we have something right now where we have a tie, where it's a four to four. And when you have a tie, uh, the decision goes back to the decision of the lower court. So uh, with an abortion case in Texas, if it's a tie, then the appeals court, which ruled the law in the Texas, making it harder to have abortion, would be upheld. So it goes back to that, whichever uh, circuit court made that decision. So you can have parts of the country with ties that basically have different decisions. So one would uh, throw that case out, one would uphold the case, and you'd have different uh, answers in different parts of the country. So we have a more majority opinion where it's the winning side. You have a concurring opinion, winning side, but for different reasons. And then the dissenting opinion is uh, the losing opinion. And those are important um, because sometimes uh, judges will use a dissenting for a reason for their future case. And uh, some reasoning, Judge Scalia was quoted in his losing or dissenting opinion in an old case on gay rights and was used in future cases on that. So there's uh, reasons to look at the, that type of decision also.